In this lesson, you'll learn three different patterns to play Let It Be. The first pattern is an easy beginning strumming pattern, and then patterns two and three are beautiful finger picking patterns. After we cover the three patterns and how to apply them to the verses and the chorus, then we'll walk through the three riffs that appear throughout the song. For each riff, we'll walk through the tablature step by step, and we'll also look at how to strum the chords for an easy beginning strumming option. After the riffs, we'll move into a play along where I'll play through the entire song and you can play along with me. Throughout this lesson, I'll be playing a tenor with low G tuning. If you have a high G on your instrument, you can follow this entire lesson. Just keep in mind that some of the patterns will sound a bit different on your instrument, particularly the finger picking patterns because your fourth string is one octave higher than mine. Also, when we cover the riffs, there are some melody notes that are played on the fourth string, so keep that in mind as well. This song uses five chords, and one of them is optional. So let's take a look at how to play these chords and some tips on fingering. Our first chord is C. This is the third fret of the first string, and you can use either your ring finger or your pinky to play this chord. Our next chord is G. To play G, I have my index and middle fingers on the second fret of strings three and one, and my ring finger on the third fret of the second string. Next we have A minor. A minor is the second fret of the fourth string, and I'm using my middle finger to play this chord. In this song, we move from A minor to F, so we'll keep our middle finger in place on the fourth string, and then also place down our index finger on the first fret of the second string to form our F chord. Our final chord is D minor seven. This is an optional chord that you'll find at the end of every other line throughout the song. We move from C to D minor seven, and then back to C. So when we do this, we're going to use our pinky to play our C chord, and then it's going to stay in place as we form D minor seven. So to move into D minor seven, we'll place our index finger on the first fret of the second string, and our middle and ring fingers on the second fret of strings three and four. Then we'll lift up those three fingers to go back to C. This song has three verses, and they're all played the same way. Each verse consists of four lines, and lines one and two are played the same way as lines three and four. So if you learn how to play lines one and two of the first verse, you'll be able to play through all three verses. Now let's take a look at our first pattern, which is an easy strumming pattern, and how to apply it to the first verse. For this first strumming pattern, we'll play down strums on beats one and three. One, two, three, four. And bringing this up to the tempo of this song. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now taking a look at our first verse. In line one, we're going to play one pattern on each chord. So two down strums on C two down strums on G, then again on A minor, and then on F. In line two, we'll play one pattern on C, and then one down strum, or just half of the pattern, on G. Then we have a few options for the end of the line. The easier option is to play one pattern on F, and then one down strum or half of a pattern on C to end the line. The second option, which is the more difficult one, is to play the quick chord changes, including the D minor seven chord. So here we'll play an F chord, then a C chord, followed by D minor seven, and then C. Now I'll count out the rhythm of line two, first with the easier version, and then the more difficult version. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. 
And now the second version playing all of the chords. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now adding in the lyrics to the first two lines. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. This song has four choruses, and they vary in length between two, four, and six lines. For the choruses that have four or six lines, Keep in mind that every two lines are played the same way. Now we're going to take a look at the first chorus, which is only two lines. The second line is played the same way as the second line of the verses, so you've already learned how to play half of the chorus. So let's take a look at this first chorus and how to apply our strumming pattern. Now applying this first pattern to the chorus, we're going to play two down strums, or one pattern, on each chord in the first line. So starting on A minor, then going to G, then to F, and then to C. Line two of the chorus is played the exact same way as line two of the verses. So now I'll add in the lyrics to our first chorus. Let it be. If you're enjoying this lesson, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, then welcome. I'm Lara. I'm a musician, a composer, and a ukulele teacher. And I hope you enjoy exploring my channel, my song tutorials, and my arrangements. Now we're moving into our second pattern, which is a finger picking pattern. Let's look at this pattern and how to apply it to the verses and the chorus. Here's our second pattern played slowly on a C chord. I'm picking string 4 with my thumb, then string 3 with my index finger, and then strings 1 and 2 together with my middle and ring fingers. The rhythm of this pattern is 1, two, three, four. And bringing it up to the tempo of this song will sound like this. Now let's look at the first two lines of verse one using this pattern. On line one, we'll play our pattern one time on each chord. So starting on C, then to G, a minor, and then F. In line two, we'll play our pattern once on C, once on G, and then we have options to finish this line just like we did with our strumming pattern. The easier option is to play our pattern once on F, and then to finger pick all four strings at once on our C chord. So here's the rhythm for line two with this first easier option. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. The more difficult option to end line two is to pick all four strings on F, C, D minor 7, and then C. And now I'll count out the rhythm to line 2 using the second option. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And now adding in the lyrics to these first two lines using our second pattern. When I find myself in times of trouble Let's apply.
apply the second pattern to our chorus. We're going to play our pattern once on each chord in line one, starting on A minor, then going to G, then to F, and then to C. Line two of the chorus is played the same way as line two of the verses. So now I'll add in the lyrics to the chorus using the second pattern. Let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be. Whisper words of wisdom, let it be. If you're feeling generous and you'd like to support my channel, then see the video description for an easy way to buy me a coffee. Your support is very much appreciated. Now we've come to our third pattern, which is a beautiful finger-picking pattern. I like to apply this pattern to the verses of the song, so let's take a look. Here's our third pattern, played slowly on a C chord. I'm starting by picking strings 4, 3, and 2 with my thumb, index finger, and middle finger. Then I'm going back to string 3 with my index finger, down to string 1 with my ring finger, and finishing on string 2 with my middle finger. The rhythm of this pattern is 1 and 2. And bringing this pattern up to the tempo of this song will sound like this. Now let's apply this third pattern to the first two lines of verse 1. In line 1, we'll play our pattern once on each chord, starting with C, then going to G, then to A minor, to F. In line two, we'll play our pattern once on C, and then once on G, and then we have two options to finish line two, just like we did with our first and second patterns. The first and easier option is to play our pattern once on F, and then pick all four strings on C. The second and more difficult option is to pick all four strings on F, C, D minor 7, and C. This is the same option that we had with pattern 2. And now adding in the lyrics to the first two lines of the verse using pattern 3. When I find myself in times of trouble, Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be. Keep in mind that the remaining verses and choruses are played the same way as what we've covered in the first verse and the first chorus. You'll see a demo of all sections of the song in the play along. Next, we'll take a look at the three riffs in this song. We'll walk through the tablature step by step, and we'll also take a look at how to strum the chords for those of you who are looking for an easy strumming alternative to playing the riffs. We're starting our introductory riff in measure one on a C chord. We'll pick strings one, two, and three twice. And then we're going to a partial G chord just on strings two and three. And here we'll pick strings two, three, and four twice. You can play the C chord with either your ring finger or your pinky. You may find one easier than the other as you transition to G. In measure two, we're going to an F chord, and here we'll pick strings one, two, and three then just the open first string, 
and then we'll place our pinky down on the third fret of the second string, and then we'll lift up our pinky to pick strings two, three, and four twice. In measure three, we'll place our ring finger on the third fret of the second string to place strings two, three, and four together twice. Then we'll place our middle finger down on the second fret of the third string to place strings two, three, and four twice more. And then in measure four, we're going to our F chord to place strings two, three, and four. Then we'll pick the open second string, then the second fret of the third string, and then the open third and fourth strings together. So here's how it looks to put this together at a slow tempo. If you'd like to strum the introduction rather than play the tablature, then starting in measure one, you'll play two down strums on C, two down strums on G, and then in measure two, four down strums on F. In measure three, you'll go back to two down strums on C, two down strums on G, and then in measure four, two down strums on F, and you'll end with one down strum on C. Our second riff comes in after the second chorus. We'll start measure one by picking all four strings on F, then we'll place our pinky down on the third fret of the second string, then we'll lift up our pinky to play the first fret of the second string, and then we're going to play the open second, third, and fourth strings together. Then we'll use our middle finger to play the second fret of the third string, then the open third string. In measure two, we're picking the fourth fret of the fourth string, followed by the second fret, and then the open fourth string. Measure three is played the same way as measure one. Then in measure four, we're going back to the fourth fret of the fourth string, followed by the open second string, and then we're ending this riff on a C chord, picking all four strings. So putting this all together at a slow tempo. If you'd like to strum the chords of the riff rather than play the tablature, then in measure one, you'll start with two down strums on F, followed by two down strums on C. Then in measure two, we'll play one down strum on G, one on F, and two on C. Measure three is played the same way as measure one, Measure four, we'll play one down strum on each chord. So one on G, one on F, and then we'll finish with one down strum on C. Our final riff comes after the final chorus. This one is only two measures long, and the first measure is played the same way as the first measure of our second riff. In measure two, we're going to the fourth fret of the fourth string, then the second fret, and then we're finishing on a C chord, playing
playing all four strings. If you'd prefer to strum the chords in this riff rather than play the tabs, then in measure one, you'll do two down strums on F, followed by two down strums on C, and then in measure two, one down strum on each chord, starting with G, then F, and finishing on C. If you'd like to download the song sheet for Let It Be, including the lyrics, chords, chord diagrams, patterns, and riffs, you can do so from my Patreon page, along with my songbook covering all of the songs that I've shared in my tutorials. You'll find the link down below in the video description. Now let's bring all of this together in a play along. I'm going to play through the entire song, alternating between patterns, and you can play and sing along with me. Five, six, seven, eight. Let it be. 
I hope you've enjoyed learning three wonderful patterns and riffs to play Let It Be. Have fun practicing, and thanks for watching.